guys, I wanted to tell you about the Nara Melon. It's a plant that comes from Nambia. It's like a succulent. It doesn't have any leaves, but it, um, it has thorns all throughout the whole plant on each branch, and it kind of twines around like a vine. And then at the end, it grows these spiky, sweet melons. And the first time I heard about it, I heard about it from Joseph Sancox, the botanical explorer. And I was like, wow, that's neat. I have to have that plant. So I went and I purchased the seeds, and the seeds were like $15 for about five seeds. And um, last year, I grew them, and well, I planted them, and none of them grew, and I was kind of upset about that. but. I'm human, so I decided I'm going to try again this year. Well, this year I decided I wasn't going to do it simple like like I did last year. I just pretty much took the seeds, put them in some dirt, put some water on them, put them to the side, and just waited. Well, this time around, I took the seeds and I put them inside of a, um, a paper a napkin, and I folded it over, and I placed it in a plastic bag and put it in a dark place, and I waited a month to see if it would root. And originally it didn't root, so I was kind of bummed out about it, but I wasn't going to give up on it because it didn't mold or it didn't rot, it didn't smell rancid. So I said, okay, well, you know what, I'm going to try to score the seeds. So I scored them by taking um, a fingernail file to the outside of them, and I placed them back inside of the napkin and closed it up with some water and put it, you know, well, not with water, but I dampened the napkin and placed it back in the dark spot again to wait to see if it was going to, you know, flourish this time. But it didn't. So I think it was about two weeks. I was kind of getting restless. I just said, you know what, I'm going to try something risky. So I went and got a fingernail file and I pulled the seed and I clipped part of the seed on the outside to encourage that that seed coat to break off and grow. And within like four or five days, I saw finally some little leaves or the, the sprout started and the roots started. So I took a picture of it and I um, took it out of there since it had a strong enough root and I placed it in dirt. And then after I placed it in the dirt, I watered it, I placed it in a plastic bag and put it near a grow light because I'm it's winter time. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's winter time and I'm in my house right now. Well, not in my house right now. I'm actually somewhere else. But I don't plant outside right now because it's too cold. So I put it inside the bag and put the grow light beside it and it sprouted. So I'm extremely excited about that. So one out of five is still a success to me at this point. I'm hoping for the other ones to grow. But I'll just share some pictures with you guys. One week later, here's the Nara Melon. It has sprouted. It has two leaves, two true leaves so far. Looks like it's getting a third, but like I said before, this plant really isn't meant to have leaves. It kind of vines around, so we'll see what happens. But I'm grateful for it, and I guess I'll check to see how the other ones um, are doing because this is the only one that sprouted so far. Okay, here's those seeds that I had sitting. I had them folded up like this and placed inside the plastic bag. Sorry about how dirty it's gotten, but um, they're not sprouting. Only this one sprouted so far, so one is better than none. Thanks, guys.